Han Moriarty is from Moy Van in North Kerry, and he's been living a life of solitude for the last 17 years near Roundstone in Connemara. Hello, John. What are you doing here? Digging. Uh, I, I, I did a clearing here. You know, there's there's a lot of bamboos here, and they died about five years ago. So I just cleared them and um, uh, had to cut them down, and I bought them from there. You see. Yeah. yeah. You haven't always been gardening, though, have you? No, 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 no. I came, um, I was in the academic world for, uh, for a few years, for seven or eight years. I, I taught at the University of Manitoba um, for seven years and then I dropped out and came back and um, I ended up gardening, you know. Why did you opt out? Well, do you know, when you opt out, at the time you opt out, you know, you give yourself reasons. And then having come, you know, your reasons kind of change. But do you know something, Jimmy? Um, I, I was even thinking about it the other day, so I could actually illustrate it for you, you know, you know in one way, like, uh, when I did opt out to begin with, like I said, I was seeking my bush soul, you know, I had to come away from culture, I had to come away from civilization and come out away beyond culture and live in wild nature again, you know, and um, could I maybe illustrate to you, like, if you like, like, I, I could illustrate to you, you know, why I felt that, like, you know. Mm. I'll show you over here, you know, okay. These are little rhododendrons that I, little seedlings that grew in a formal garden over beyond the lawn. And I brought them here and put them into plastic grow bags. And, you know, if you take this one, like, like I just put in soil here into the plastic grow bag and planted this as a Himalayan rhododendron. And in about a year's time, like, that will have sent roots right throughout the soil in here. And um, it will then, this, the roots will then hit the plastic. They will reach the, reach the limits, and they will find the plastic is dead and lifeless, and they can't get through it. So they will turn round and round and round and round, and they will go back, get introverted, introvert back into the old exhausted, astringent, sour soil, and a soil that they've already exhausted, in a sense. Now, when that happens, we talk about, you know, we talk about the plant being pot-bound, I mean, in this case, bag-bound, you know? And the thing to do then is lift the plant straight out and plant it into wild ground again. Now, at the university, like, I was teaching um, European culture, basically the history of European ideas, in an English department. But um, I had a sense like that European culture was itself pot bound, that it was a self exhausted, that it was up against the plastic and the plastic and the concrete of its own growing, and it turned back into an old system, an old exhausted system of ideas, an old exhausted system of axiom, cultural axioms and assumptions. So just as I would take this plant out when it gets pot bound and planted in wild ground, so I, I want to take myself out of a culture that I thought was pot bound um, as a teacher of that, take myself out and maybe plant myself also in wild ground, in wild nature here in Colorado.